Greetings and salutations, YouTube. I'm your storytelling pal, Al. I'm here because I like making people laugh by telling funny stories. I hope you get some chuckles out of it. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz. And a couple of disclaimers to start with. These stories are kind of sort of true, as best I can remember them, or as best they make a funny story. So, somewhat accurate. And if you know someone or are someone that recognizes, you know, a story I tell them here, then thanks for the memory. <clears throat> um, another disclaimer, as you can tell, this is no frills. I'm sitting here talking to my phone at near one o'clock in the morning, local time, in my apartment in northern Minnesota, and I'm just doing it to make some people laugh. If you think I suck, I don't care. Go watch a different channel, A-dubs, um, Buckethead Nation, Joel and Leah, Office Blokes, The Tri Channel, Blastomous Blast HD. I recommend them all. They're fun. Um, but anyway, those are my disclaimers. So the first story I'm going to tell is about Granddad granny my cousin rebecca and the bird so to kind of picture this story you know so you can kind of understand why it made you know the impact that it did my granddad and granny were living in a duplex and they had about 12 rooms of stuff in a two-room duplex because they were hoarders and they were not only hoarders, they were animal hoarders as well. But this was back in a time when animal hoarding was not really kind of a thing that people got upset about. We don't know how many cats they had in their, like, duplex. It was, on the low end, it might have been somewhere in the 30s. On the high end, it may have been as many as 60. But they had all these cats and all this stuff in this tiny duplex. And my cousin Rebecca had gone over to spend the night with them. And my cousin Rebecca was 10 years old at this time, but she was a big horror movie fan. And on one of the TV channels that they got, The Birds by Alfred Hitchcock was playing. So they watched the movie The Birds. And this is in the middle of the summertime in Paducah, Kentucky, which is kind of a muggy place. And they didn't really have central air conditioning in this duplex. And so they had propped the windows open. And so everyone was asleep. It's about 4 o'clock in the morning. And the this blackbird flew into the window where <clears throat> my grandparents were sleeping. And the little stick that was holding the window open got knocked out by the blackbird. It was one of those windows that opens like that and then closes. So as the stick gets knocked out, <clears throat> the window closes, and now this blackbird is trapped in the room with all these cats and my grandparents and my cousin Rebecca. <sighs> what happened next was purely pandelirium. So my granddad, who was about six foot one, about two hundred and twenty pounds. And he had played college basketball and college baseball both. <clears throat> he grabbed the broom. But by this point in his life, he had lost most of his eyesight and most of his hearing. And so he started swinging for anything that sounded like it might be the bird. Well, the problem was, <clears throat> it's really hard to distinguish when you have trouble hearing and seeing the, the sound the bird makes. From the sound a cat makes and when there's between 30 and 60 cats trying to get at this one bird you can see where things kind of ran a, a bit of ground and so my grandfather according to granny and rebecca was just sending cats sailing across the room trying to to get the bird and get it like knocked down so they could usher it out without the cats eating it 
and boxes of stuff were just falling over and bursting open. And for about 45 minutes, just this epic battle ensued. My granddad was trying to get the bird out. The bird was trying to get out and get away from my grandfather and the cats. And the cats were trying to get at the bird. And my grandfather was just routinely sending cats sailing through the air with his broom. Because they sounded like the bird. So they finally get the bird out. The bird lived. And... The next day, <laughs> Granny and Grid, that's two youngest sons who happened to live the closest by, they had to come over and spend over six hours putting my granddad and Granny's little duplex apartment back together after all that. But anyway, that's the story of Granddad, Granny, Rebecca, and the bird.